Right, so let's let's expand a little bit more on the navigation options. Uh, we kind of know how to do this because we've been using it. Isn't using it? Navigation options. We get you know the title and everything else. And same thing on the global one navigation options, and we get the title home. Right. So right here is the title. Same property. Same property. But of course, we can do a lot of things more. You look at look at this. Look at the list. So of course, we are not going to go through all of this. It's going to take us all day. I'm just going to show you some of this that are really, really cool and really, really important because you are going to use it the whole time. So let's assume that in your application, uh, whenever you render it, instead of just saying home, you want to show a logo, right? Okay. So for this one, you get the header title. Now the header title, it says react element or react component used by the header. So it says right here that you could put just a default title, just like this. But if you uh, add a header title, it's going to override whatever title you're going to be passing, and you can add a React element, you know, just an image, just an image. All right. So let's let's kind of uh, do this. I'm going to bring, I'm going to pause the video, of course, and bring a logo, just a tiny icon to this uh, to this uh, directory. And then, of course, uh, I'm going to zip and upload that logo so you can use it. You're going to use it later. Right, so of course you need to download the zip and put the images directory inside the source directory. So if we go to here, we get an animal track. So this is going to be my logo. And then you get a different one, which is this one. You know, the lines for the uh, open menu. We're going to use this one later. Okay, so I'm going to go back because I closed the project by mistake. So I'm going to go to uh, right here to app. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a, just a standalone component so we can render the header because this header title accepts a component. So we're going to just feed uh, it with a component. So I'm going to go, I'm going to call my component logo.js because it makes sense. And we need to, again, import React from React, pretty much the same thing. And we need to import, and we're going to use an image. So image, and then from, open and close, and you guessed it, React Native. All right. So then I'm going to bring a class, could be uh, could be whatever, but I'm just going to bring a class, logo, title, and then extends, then component, you know, the usual stuff, open and close. I want to render, I could bring a template, maybe I'm going to do it on the next couple of sections, because I don't want to type this every time. So I'm going to, of course, let you know how to bring templates inside of here. So this one, the only thing is going to do for now, it's just going to render an image. So what is the image? It's going to be whatever uh, icon we have on the source directory. First, I need to do export default. Okay, right. So of course, I need to put the image right here. So I will import it just as a logo, import, and it's going to be a logo. You can call this whatever you want. And then from dot forward slash, it's images forward slash and an animal track. I'm not getting the, uh, you know, the name, but that's okay. I'm going to go and copy from here. All right. So animal track. Okay. That's good. So now of course I'm going to feed it to the images. So to the image, I'm going to say source equals, and then we uh, pass logo, right? Logo. I'm going to give it some stylings because the logo, it's uh, it's not small. I, I want to say big, but it's not small. So if we add it just like this, uh, we're going to get something weird on the screen. So I'm just going to make it a little bit small width of 30 and a height of 30. All right. So of course, if we include this in whatever component in our application, we will be just rendering a logo, right? A tiny image. Now, what we can do with this is we can pass it to this logo, that logo title, that header title, sorry. So, okay, so let's do it right now. I'm gonna go back and what I want to do it, I want to do, I want to add to the stack navigator, the navigation options, right? I'm just gonna do it maybe uh, maybe for the home screen. So I'm gonna do title, we get the home, all right. So I'm gonna do header and then title, just like this and then column. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna make a reference to that import. We're gonna make, need to make at the top, import, and then I'm gonna call it logo title, then from dot forward slash, 
and src forward slash and then logo. And that's it. That's the only thing we need to do. If I just save this, we're going to reload it and we get the logo. So very good. Very, very good. I'm going to go to users. And of course, we don't get it because if we remember on users, we are kind of uh, overriding all of that, even with the title. All right. Okay, you know, pretty, pretty cool stuff. And it's actually pretty, pretty simple to do. You just create the component and you render it. And of course, we have much more logic inside of the navigation options. Let me just find something. Uh, you get the header back image. You could stylize the header back image. By default, they give you uh, what it's in React Navigation View Assets, you know, the icons you get by default on on each, uh, on each uh, you know, device. This is the default, you know, back from Mac, from iOS and the default from, 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 iOS, from Android. But of course, they give you a way to, again, pass a React component or element just like we did with the uh, with the logo and you know just change the back you can do that all right some other things we can do is to modify the back title so here's the property some of the other things we already know how to do uh, on this list like the header style the back title style in this case not this one but the title style and of course this one will apply for the back title style you know and the description is you know pretty self-explanatory now, right, right now, I just want to uh, just show you this because it is a little bit confusing. So let's say that in your application, not on Android because we don't get a back style, you know, we don't get a back text, but on iOS, uh, for example, if I go to users, we get the, you know, back to home. Now, uh, of course, uh, we are, uh, let's say I want to change that back title. So I will just assume that, okay, so we, if we are on the users component, I'm on the users. So I could add something to navigation options called header back title, and we should be able to modify this. So if I go here and say, uh, I don't know, whatever clown and reload the application, I go to users, we are still getting home. So this doesn't work. Now, if I copy this, I'm going to remove it, go to app and add it on the defaults and reload the application, go to users and we kind of get it. So if we add this on the defaults, this clown, this back title is going to apply for every single route you create right here. And maybe this is not what you want. What you can do, well, actually what you will need to do is to put it on the back title, but of the, you know, the main screen. If you're coming out from home, you will need to do it there. Right. So I'm going to go here and, you know, make it, you know, right. Let me just copy, I'm going to delete it, comma, and put it. If I reload the application, go to users, we get the clown. So again, remember always to put it on the parent component. Now, uh, of course, again, we kind of know what the other options. Uh, we get two that are really interesting. And these ones, they work just like the logo. So it says React element to display and React element or component to display. So we can add some kind of uh, icons in the left and in the right, right? So if we go here, we could put an icon here and an icon here. So that's going to work. So let's, gonna, let's do it right now. And it's the last thing we're going to do before we move on to the next type of uh, navigation, which is the side drawer. So, okay, I'm, I'm going to do this from the home screen and I'm going to show you something. I'm going to uncomment this. And we know that we are using navigation options and we are passing an object and we know that that works. Now on app, we are doing navigation options, but we are passing a function. We are not passing an option, object. Now notice that the uh, function returns an object. So at the end, we, we always get an object inside navigation options. But what we are doing, we are passing the navigation, which is you know the context, and we are bringing from the context the navigation. So this one has a lot of properties of what is going on with the routes. So if we access navigation and I don't know, I select params, this will give me the params of the route I'm using, for example. We're going to use this in a few lectures with something very specific. It's going to come really handy. So in this case, if we do need that access to the context, to the navigation uh, properties, instead of just doing this, we could do something like this here. I could say open and close, and then we return a function that will return 
for example, an object, right? So in this case, I'm going to access the context and I'm going to do navigation, of course. I'm not going to really use it, uh, maybe, but oh yeah, I'm going to use it. Why not? I'm going to go to return. And what do we need to do here? Well, this one is the title home. We kind of already have it on the main, I believe. Yeah, title home. So if I reload the screen, of course, we still get the logo. So that, that's OK. Now, what I want to do, I want to add the left. So I'm going to say header. I'm going to say header and then left. And I'm going to, of course, return uh, a React component. Remember that this says React element or component. So we kind of need to do that. We cannot put uh, just a string, for example. This is not going to work. Let me just show you. If I say J, for example, and reload the application. OK, so it got frozen again. So let's give it a minute. So environment violation, view config not found for name J. Well, you know, again, that doesn't work. What we need to do, we need to render or return uh, JSX. So for example, if I say something dumb like a button, like uh, remember we have it at the top, and then, you know, just include the title and maybe an action. I'm going to say maybe title, and then the title is going to be B. I'm going to reload it. We get the button and we get the B. Of course, uh, this button will it kind of make sense that we can we could add a button right here that we click it and we open the side drawer. So but this one is not for that. We can add, add a button right here, but it's for going to a different route because we are not using drawer navigation right here. We can only use a stack. We're going to talk about that later. But for example, I, what I can do, I can do a non press uh, just like this. And I'm going to open and close and just run a function, right? Just like we did before. And now this navigation comes really handy because if I click on the button, it means that I want to go maybe to a different screen, maybe to the user's screen. So how are you, are you going to go? You know, you get the props right here. But the thing is that you are on a static. You don't really have access to this.props. So the navigation, it's pretty much uh, where all the uh, this.props navigation they came, they come from. So if we do navigation, we could do on navigate, open and close, and we go to users. So reload it, and if I click it, we go to users. Pretty cool stuff. Same thing with the with the right side. I'm gonna copy just to save time. I'm gonna go here and say that I want to go right. So this one is gonna be R for I don't know right. And when you on press, we're still going to go to users because it's the only uh, screen we have. So I'm going to go to R and we are still going to users. All right. So really cool stuff. So we are pretty much done uh, with this one. Uh, I want to show you, I want to talk about the jar navigation right now. So if you remember, maybe I, I don't have it right here, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to talk about drawer navigation. If you want to try it on your own, of course, I'm going to show you pretty much everything. But if you want to try it, try it on your own on the guides, you get an example uh, right here to draw navigation. So you can just try it on your own. If you don't want to, don't worry. On the next section, you're going to pretty much disable the stack navigation. And we're going to pretty much do the same, but with uh, drawer navigation. All right. So let's go to the next one.